I am Bookface. Do I even need to explain what's going on here anymore? We're talking about lumberjack folklore, and if you don't know what that is, then I've got a whole playlist about it. Go watch it. Creatures from North America, all of them sound like someone got really drunk and tried to describe a walk in the woods while also mixing it with whatever intrusive thoughts they happen to have in the moment. Today we're talking about even more of them. And with that out of the way, let's jump right in. Woo! First up we have the Wapalusi. It's another example of why lumberjack folklore creatures have the greatest names. It's a creature from northern Idaho. So it, this is the potato creature. It's roughly the size of a Dachshund, with the feet and toes of a woodpecker, and a pointed tail used to assist in climbing. Just got like a grappling hook at the end of its tail. It's sad that I have to say it actually doesn't, because that's honestly not that far of a stretch for most of these creatures. It feeds solely on mushrooms. Don't do drugs. Additionally, their inclination to climb continues going even after they're already dead, which is dedication. And this is shown in the fact that anything made from a Wapalusi's skin continues to crawl upwards. That is really creepy, honestly. Next up we have the Bildad, also known by its scientific name, Salt of Piscator Falcurus. Stratus. It lives by the Boundary Pond in Maine. It is about the size, shape, and has the tail of a beaver, with large kangaroo-like back legs, short front legs, and webbed feet, and a hawk-like beak. It was thought that it could use its legs to launch itself 130 feet into the air. That is... How did it land? This creature solely eats fish and hunts the fish by staying near grassy areas by the water with lots of bugs. Then, when the fish go to the surface to eat the bugs, Bildad slaps the fish with its tail to stun them and then eats them. You know, that's how most hunting goes. Just walk up to your prey, slap it real hard, and boom, you've done it. The sound of this is very similar to the sound of a canoe paddle, leading the two often be confused for one another. And the meat of a Bildad was considered a delicacy. But one person was documented acting like a Bildad after eating some of their meat. Well, I guess you really are what you eat. Oh, that was just, that was just so bad. It was, that was hard for me to read. This is my own script. Of course, there are many things that say that the Bildad's meat is actually poisonous, which is um kind of far from tasty. Lastly, we have the Glowacus, also known as the Northern Devil Cat, or the Granby, Gram, Gramby, Gram, Grampy, Grampy Panther, which resembles a cross between a panther, a lion, and a boar. Oh my. And it screeches like a hyena. Pitch black, about three feet long, with a two foot long tail. Unlike most creatures from lumberjack folklore though, this creature has actually been sighted in Glastonbury, Connecticut in 1939, where it killed a lot of small dogs. How dare you. It's also known from Massachusetts. I don't think it killed any dogs there though. And there we have three more creatures from lumberjack folklore. Oh yeah, not really much to say at this point. They're cool and very weird. Just like me. <laughs> Except I'm not cool. <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!